Oh, it's working. So, hey guys. What's up guys? This is Daniel in Houston and DJ and Emily in Weston from Arms Family Homestead. And today we're opening my last big old present. That's right. We think this is a birthday present for Houston, but it came from, look at that, Korea. All the way from Korea. All the way from Korea. So Emily and I had a little geography lesson <laughs> today because Emily had no idea where Korea was. And how far away did my phone say it was? 6,737 miles. 6,737 miles is about how far this package traveled to come to our house. Isn't that pretty cool? That is so awesome. I mean, it's just so neat to me that, that this YouTube community is like worldwide. I mean, when we first started this, I thought we'd reach a few people that were into gardening or maybe some goats just kind of, you know, around the United States. And we already get uh, some people. We're already getting some yeah. people. So before we get too far into this, guys, the camera's quite a ways from us so we can get all of us in. I can't really see all the comments. It's pretty far away from us right now. Um, what we could do is get I, your phone and get on there and view it, and you could read the comments. Okay. Go grab your mama's phone. So, Houston, let's get into this because we don't know what's in this box. We got one of Houston's birthday presents here, one that he hasn't cut his finger with yet. <laughs> all right. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Any guesses what's in here? Because I don't have a clue. Um, it went through customs, and there's kind of some hints on there, but I think there's more to it than that. So, Houston, let's see what's in this box, boy. Uh-oh, there's a couple oh notes first. Gosh. Hang on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hang on. All right, so here we go. Dear Houston, happy belated birthday. As I enjoy watching your garden... Um, I wanted to send you a gardening tool which is very unique to Korea. It's called a homey. I hope you enjoy using it in your garden. Also, as you should be returning to school soon and education being very important, I'm also sending you some pencils and pencil cases. There are pink ones for Emily, so please share. <laughs> and to keep things from rattling inside the box, I needed some cushions as I figured that everyone likes snacks and candy. Mom's watching our video over there. You could just turn the sound off. Um, I'd figure everyone likes snacks and candy, so I filled it with snacks that can be found only in Korea. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Again, happy birthday. Regards, Eric. Eric Lee, one of our subscribers from Korea. Wait. That, that, he sent all kinds of stuff, all kinds of literature about the homey tool he sent. There's another note. We're not going to read both of those right now. Let's just get into this. So, milk. what's in here? This is milk. Can you read it? It says milk. That's all it says. That's Check all out I these can things. read. Look at that. Wait, it's the same thing. It right? says milk right there. I'm so, guessing this one's strawberry. Hang on. You don't want to taste one? Yes, Let's yes. Let's see what they are. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait. So, these are snacks that are only found in Korea, guys. <laughs> all right. Here you go. Ooh. They're in the little packs. Come on, grouchy teenager. They're in these little <laughs> packs. Come on, grouchy teenager. Mom, you want one? I'll try one. Well, let's try it. They look like marshmallows. They're milk they're milk candy? Oh, oh they feel like edible slime. Edible slime. Ready? One, All two, three. All right. So look, it's like a little chewy, like a little starburst. Ooh, got some thunder. Ah. Huh. It's interesting. It's kind of like one of those brown things with the vanilla inside of them. So we got two packages of those. We got strawberry. Well, we got to try the strawberry. Yeah. We tried the milk, which I'm thinking that's probably like more like a vanilla. Yeah. Ow. Well, what would y'all compare it to? What do you think it tastes like? It's like those brown things with the vanilla stuff inside of them. Like a Werther's Original? Yes. Uh, kind of does taste like a chewy Werther's Original. Yeah. Where's Weston going over there? <laughs> Weston <laughs> snuck off screen there. All right, let's try a strawberry. Hey, y'all gonna take that one? It's the same package. Here you go, mom. Oh, I gotta try a pink one. Ooh, yeah, it strawberry. smells like a high chew. Dang it. Oh. Weston bowed out on the <laughs> strawberry. Uh oh. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of. It's not like as chewy as a starburst. Ooh. This one's better. Oh, uh, way better. Oh, I don't like this one. Mm. It's way good. Huh. 
Oh, never mind. Look. They were pretty good. Look at what I found. Look at all those pencils. Looky there. Ooh, the pink ones are cute. A couple packs of pencils, one for Emily and one for Houston, I'm assuming. Wait, what are those? We can give a pack to Weston, a pink pack to Weston. There's four packs. Oh, there are four packs in there. Weston gets a pink one. We like these. These are noodles, mild neuter, noodles. Noodles. <laughs> <laughs> they're like ramen noodles. Yeah. Oh, but sweet. they're so mild sauce. He we sent, got a movie. Sent, oh, he movie. sent some ramen noodles. Uh, two kinds of ramen noodles. Looks like he got mild and hot, which I don't know if these are going to be any different than the, the cheap 10 cent Walmart ramen noodles that you get here in the United States. But since these are authentic and from Korea, I'm kind of excited to try them. Weston over there loves ramen noodles. I do you? too. Me too. This is where you go like this. Oh, I zoned out. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> he zoned out. And we have these colored pencils. You push them up. They're colored crayons. Peanut yeah. coated. Peanut coated cookies. So it's like a cookies. crayon pencil. Peanut coated cookies. Peanut coated cookies. So is that like cookies. brittle, I wonder? I don't know, but we're gonna try them out. <laughs> I can't. All right, let's see. So it looks like a pretzel, very similar to a pretzel. Ew, there's stuff on the outside. Ah. Ugh. Oh, I know what this tastes like. It says peanut. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. It says okay. peanut coated cookies. Here. So it looks like sesame seeds on the outside of them. Look. But it's actually peanut. Mm -hmm. That's, That's not too here. bad. I, I kind of like them. Mm -mm. That's pretty good. Yeah. So we got two packages of those. Two more packages of stuffing. I mean, uh, noodles. Okay. Okay. I'll go slow. These are rice cracker. And they're sweet. sweet. And they're sweet. So you got, hang on. You got sweetened rice crackers. And, and you got unsweetened. unsweetened rice crackers. I'm trying sweet. I'm trying sweet. Not well, we might as well try the sweet ones. Hey. Okay, one thing at a time, guys. Mm. Mm. All right, probably not gonna open like four of them, so let's see. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow down, slow down. Well, look at there. Oh. It looks like a cracker with icing on it. Rice cake. A little rice cake with some icing on it. Is it like an angel cookie? Break them in half, break them in half. Is it an angel cookie? I don't want to do these. Uh-uh. Mmm. Uh-uh. Good. Nope. Huh. Um. They smell Pass. like a perm. Huh. <laughs> I thought it kind of smelled Pass. like a firework. No, it smells like Pass. a perm. I'm passing on I don't think anybody was a fan of the <laughs> rice crackers. I don't know. Kind of weird. Maybe they grow on you. Now we have, we have a pink pencil pouch for me, of course. And then we have this blue one. And this blue one. And this blue one. Cool. Yeah, looky there. A little pencil pouch. I have another one. Well, there's two different styles. Just a little a little pencil holder. That's pretty cool. That is. This one could go in my trapper keeper. Looky there. This one could go in my other my locker. So this one's almost like hard back, kinda like a like a glasses case. And then this one's soft. I don't know what it says what on it. Mean? Oh, it says believe in yourself. So, okay. hang on before we oh. get the garden tools out. We got more snacks. Oh. Oh. So, let's see what these are. Ew. Red bean mocha. Mm. That does not say mocha. Oh, it sure doesn't. What's it say? Guys. Red bean manaka? M M O N A C A. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, not really sure what that is. Manaka. But we're going to try one. Manaka. It looks manaka. like a It looks like some sort of little little chocolate filled cake thing. I, I don't know. Looks like a cranberry cookie. Well, we're gonna test one out and see. Oh, look, they're in their own wrappers too. Oh. These are like Weston, cookies. you're not very brave. Oh, well, Emily just smashed hers. She just said, well, come yeah. on, Weston. Come on, Weston. Ooh. Everybody, come on. Let's see, everybody cheer Weston on. He can try it, come on. Weston, 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 Weston. Sure. Uh -oh. <laughs> Houston didn't like that either. Uh -uh. All right, so this is strange. It almost looks like 
like a little styrofoam ball. The inside is like a fig. It it's looks jelly. Like but it looks like styrofoam. Am I wrong? No, it looks like styrofoam. It looks like styrofoam. It looks like you shouldn't eat it. It sounds like it too. Mm. Oh, it feels weird. You're right. You should never try that. <laughs> well. Look that hurt. Do you like I'm it? I'm gonna put that right there. It actually I'm not sure if I like it or not, but it does kind of like fall apart in your mouth. It's literally, literally like, like styrofoam almost. Hmm. I mean, I don't think it tastes bad. It tastes bad. It's interesting. Wait, I never tried the inside of well, it. Well, look at there. The inside tastes good. Inside tastes mm -hmm. good, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yum, that's Whoop. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more. One more. One more bag of snacks. One this more. is like a bag of chips of some Weston, kind. Weston, everybody's cheering you on. Come on, Weston. Weston, try it. Come on, Weston. Mm -hmm. See, come on. Don't be a sissy, Weston. <laughs> we got one right here for you, Weston. Oh, good. oh, will you try one of these? You don't even know what it is. Look at this. It's like sesame chips. <laughs> I don't mean to Stop. sound bad, but it looks like emoji <laughs> chips. It, it looks does. like it's got emojis all hey, over. Hey, that's it. what it is. Oh well, look, it's got emojis on the back. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's well, see. Weston's trying to sneak out over there. Good in. Oh, I don't know if he's going to try one of these. Look at this. They haven't seen them yet. Oh, they like a cheese puff kind of? Oh. No, it's not really like a cheese puff. It's hollow. Oh, they smell gross. It's some kind of chip. Okay. All right, everybody try one. Uh, Weston said like he was going to try uh, one. A honey Girl, you look at him over there. You can eat a rattlesnake. You can eat this. <laughs> yeah, really. Good Lord. <laughs> I have a wood Uh-uh. I don't think so. Oh, they're kind of cinnamony. So, oh, it's bad. definitely not a salty chip. No. If you guys ever had... Oh, it's like fried biscuit. Well, what I was going to compare it to, if you guys ever had... We call them groovers when I was a kid. And it was like a long... A churro. Cinem a churro. Not yeah, a well, they were called groovers at the skating rink. We all called them groovers. I don't think so. Churro, they're, they're a Mexican um, like that dessert. So, it's like a... a um, like a pastry that's oh, long, okay. skinny, kind of like this, except long. And uh, they're coated in like mm. sugar and cinnamon and you eat them hot. Well, this is kind of like the chip version yeah. of that. I could eat more than one. Weston, did you try one? Yeah. I'm good. Here. Now those are pretty good. I already ate one. I have no clue what they're called. Hey, I bet you could put some milk on them. They I mean. Some really good cereal. It's uh, really? emoji chips, really? but they are awesome. They do kind of look like combos, except combos have a, a filling. These are hollow inside. So, I don't know. Moving on. Well, that's all the snacks. Hang on. There's actually two letters. I didn't read the second letter, but the first one said Houston got a gardening tool. Good luck getting on that. And it's taped up very well. Some little ah, ah. crooked handle gardening tool. Where'd the knife go? Is that a Korean newspaper? It probably is a Korean newspaper, Emily. What? Oh, it is. <laughs> Someone said, looks like my wife went shopping. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right, let's see what this thing looks like. So the letter that Houston got, it was called a homie. Man, there's two of them here, so I'm guessing. Ooh! Oh, there's two different sizes. Oh, look at that. You got one and I got one. Like a little one for Houston and a big one for Dad? Is that what you think? Yeah. So that's Easy. a like Korean um, gardening tool. I'm assuming it's a Korean thing. So it's sharpened. looks like it's fairly well sharpened on this edge. That's cool. Kind of a little digging tool. That's kind of neat. I don't I don't know. Never, I got an never seen anything exactly designed like that, but kind of neat. Somebody asked if they and then one more. Ooh. Another Korean newspaper, Houston, or Emily. Oh, Hang on, easy. That's probably a sharp tool, bud. Quit. Uh-oh. Look oh. what you did. Somebody went a little wild on me. About knocked the camera right over. Stop. Stop. Just raise that back up. All right. Mom, are you reading any of the comments? Yeah. Someone said I'll eat a snake, but not a cookie. Well. Oh, Ooh, looky there. That's a cool. 
Now that one is like a... That looks like something that hangs in scary movies. Uh -uh. It's scary movies. So, <laughs> no, it looks like them old weed chocolate. Oh, yeah. It, it is. It's kind of like a, a sigh. Isn't that how you pronounce it? Somebody's going to correct me if I say it wrong. A sigh, like, like um, you would have seen in the 1800s here where people harvested hay or crops or whatever, wheat, slinging it along the ground. You could cut yourself. But it is very sharp. That tool is... Um, it's a huge knife. A huge knife. There's a letter around here. I'm sure there's probably instructions. A sickle. Yeah, that's a good term for it, but I thought it was called a sigh. But anyways, pretty cool. Awesome. A little, got a little plastic sheath that goes over it. Kind of a neat deal. So, Houston, get back over here on camera, buddy. I'll give one of these. Uh-oh, what Bumblebee Junction want to say to me? He said, now that I have you all alone. Bumblebee Junction? Now that I have you all alone, DJ, I wanted to tell you. Dot, dot, dot. I don't know. I don't know. A little Houston, nervous. sit down here. I'm going to sit on your little chair so I can see some comments, I guess. All right. I need another piece of candy. So, Houston, <laughs> what do you think about your present Good. from Korea? South Korea, to actually Good. to be specific. Good. Good. What are you eating now? No. Oh, you're eating the little strawberry candies. Oh, quit. Don't show everyone. Eating one of these. Have no idea what they're called. Everything's in little packages. Yeah, so we were going to do this live stream um, about an hour ago. And somebody had a small meltdown. <laughs> so it's, it's been super hot in Oklahoma today. And then it actually came in. I'm not in getting in that hat. In that heat again. And it came in and rained. <laughs> well, he, we were at a softball game. Yep, Houston was at a softball game all afternoon. Got super hot, probably a little dehydrated, and came home and was a little bit emotional. <laughs> Said he was sick. We were trying to do a live stream, and we just couldn't get it done, and Houston got sick on us. He went right. Went and took a cold shower, drank a lot of water, and bounced back. What's that say right there, babe? I don't know. Korean garden tools, real sharp. Oh, it's going away. Why can't? Uh, real sharp, and they work so dang good. Weeds wilt when you use those tools. <laughs> hey, take oh. a guess. Take a guess at how many people you think are watching right now, Houston. 12,500. Wow. Whoa. That's a big number. <laughs> 12,500 is not oh, correct. Fish. So we've got 234 people watching what? right now. I was so close. <laughs> so close. You you were so close. 12,000 is pretty close to 234. 200? Yeah. So. Oh, now what it's else? 39. All right. There's Bumblebee Junction again. Bumblebee what do you say? Junction. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up, folks. Yeah, that's right. Appreciate it, Bumblebee. Hit the thumbs up. <laughs> hit this. I can't really say it, but hit the subscribe button in the ring for notification bell. And Yeah, there you go. Houston <laughs> says hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. He said subscribe like Dutch does. He said subscribe. 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 Well, we just went from 43 thumbs up to 76 real quick. <laughs> All right. So what else? Anything else you want to talk about, Mom? While Emily sits here and licks her fingers on camera? Oh. No, the kids just started school two days ago, yesterday. Yesterday was yesterday the first day of school. Yesterday was the first day of school. Goofball over here hiding went to first grade. Emily is in fifth grade. You got two classes. And Mr. I won't eat your food <laughs> is in 10th grade. 10th grade. Will you open that? Yes, I will open that, but your head is like right up in that camera. Yeah, <laughs> uh, someone asked who won the softball game. We did. Sulphur did. Yes. Yay. My sister was playing. And she's a catcher, and she's an awesome, awesome catcher. She's a rock star. She's a rock star. She is. And you're half a star. Yeah, she... DJ, DJ calls her sister Superstar, <laughs> and Katie calls her Half a Star. Yeah, little inside off joke. The, off, off the movie. Um, the Longest Yard. Yeah, The Longest Yard, that's what it was. So, Houston, quit bouncing around back there. You're going to make yourself sick again. Somebody uh, just said hello from Nova Scotia, Canada. What? Oh gosh, that's cool. Yeah, Troy Canada. S. said when's her birthday, and I don't know which who he means. This one's this birthday one. is when? April 26th. April 26th. Oh, April 28th. Oh, my gosh. 428. 
Oh eight. Oh eight. Oh eight. And his is eight six twelve. Mm -hmm. And yours is five thirteen oh two. I do know their birthdays. He, he just, doesn't know mine. I just uh, stumble on the spot I'm there. Sorry to him. Dad. <laughs> Hi from Wisconsin. Anyway, so hers is in April. DJ's is actually coming up. This is my birth month. <laughs> I'm accepting gifts all month too. She's old. She's old. <laughs> Her birthday is um, coming up pretty quick. Yeah, August 29th. But it's pretty much going to be oh, like the last day of the month. Look you there. Chat. Easy, Emily. You're going to knock it over. Farm all fanatic. That guy. Man, you're awesome. Jones. I think he pretty much gives us a super chat just about every time we go live. Look at super chat. Super chat is like where somebody donates money hey, to your channel during the, the stream. Camera. You're shaking the camera. What are you wanting down there? Uh, Anyways, DJ's got a birthday coming up. I'm not ashamed to tell you how old she is because she's older than I am. She's 39. What? What? No, I'm not. She's 36. Not yet. She will be. She will be 36 in two weeks. You're 40. No. Oh. <laughs> not. So. That'd be funny. We'll be celebrating another birthday soon, I guess. Yep. What else? Can I have I'm you? Not, um, I'm, I can't hardly read that. You can pick out colors you want. Oh, the Snuggle Monster just had their birthday on the 15th. Happy birthday, Snuggle Monster. Ontario, Canada, California. Pick up People watching all over the world. It's crazy. It's so awesome. Um, so I don't know what else. I'm, I'm, I'm out of subjects to talk oh, about right now. The kids that. are all playing with their new toys and no pencils and pencil holders and all that cool stuff. Um, but first off, I mean, first off, not first off. I would like to say a special thank you to Eric that sent this package from Korea. That's so cool. I'm sure it probably cost more to ship that box here than all that stuff was even worth, but it was just the thought. Um, someone that would that would take the time and the money to spend and to spend all that and and send something from South Korea all the way here was uh, was pretty cool. That was awesome. So. Someone said hello from Claremore, Oklahoma. Not too far away there, Claremore. You're up there in the land of Dutch. Oh, someone's from Claremore, Oklahoma. Is that yeah. what I just said? Oh, sorry. That is exactly what I just That's said. That's funny. Sorry, <laughs> didn't hear you. 20th anniversary of DJ's 16th birthday. Heck yeah. No, I don't want to go back to my teenagers. <laughs> no. <laughs> what's wrong with teenagers? No, you could not pay me. I, I'm... Well, what's wrong with teenagers? There ain't nothing wrong with me. Here, or any teenager. So here's what it's like. If, you, if you've never lived with a teenager. They're funny. Here's what it's like. They're they mean. go they go like this. Oh, low battery. They go. We cute too. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, uh, I'm going to go to sleep. Bruh. Bet, bruh. This, bet, this bet. gets said a lot. There's a reason I wear this shirt. And this is how I say it. No. Sure. Um, no. no. But to them, uh, that looks like well, it me... says, mmm, on. Okay, no, it says, um, <laughs> no. No, I say that 97 times a day, I think. There's Gemma. They wanted to say hi to Gemma. There's the puppy, <laughs> there's Gemma. She's big, she's a big girl. She's getting big. Survived that snake bite well, huh? Alicia, You'd never know she was bitten by a snake. Alicia McNamara says, I have two Korean boys that live with me. That's cool. Two Korean boys. Oh, this is cool. Well, I'm sure they could probably come back and maybe read some of uh, some of the stuff on these packages because I have no clue what that says. That right there. Oh, them. Uh, no clue. I, I know what that says. Gemma. Someone's. Oh, Dutch said so. North Korea or South Korea? Dutch. It came from South Korea, buddy. Poplar Bluff, Missouri. I've looked at some houses there, I think. Okay, so you guys know we do a lot of fishing. Houston loves to fish for anything. I, I love to fish for anything. No. And uh, <laughs> Bumblebee Junction said, does it not say emoji cookies? I think it does say emoji cookies. Anyways, I came in the house earlier and my wife said, uh, so wh what kind of what kind of fish are there to catch in the wintertime? Where's a good place to fish in the wintertime? You know, within the surrounding states, you know. So. Not too far, because our kids will have basketball. So, you know, I want, I'd like to go somewhere. You're thinking like Christmas? Yeah. So the last two years, what our family has done, Dutch said Florida. I would go. So. I will go. 
the last the last two years for Christmas, instead of doing the whole huge family Christmas thing and spending <laughs> hundreds of dollars on gifts, uh, we packed up with her parents and her sister and her brother and his fiance and just went on a trip. So two years ago, we went to Nashville. And then this last year, we went and rented a, rented a house really not that far away on Lake Eufaula here in Oklahoma and uh, just spent Jeez. time together as a family instead of going out and spending all that money on gifts. We just spent it on memories together as a family. Easy, easy. So now this lady has decided maybe a wintertime fishing trip. So we're trying to come up with an idea. Listen! It's all right. Well, there went all the pencils. Ow. <laughs> Um, so we're trying to figure out an idea for somewhere to go fishing for a wintertime trip. Not, not super far. Nothing super crazy expensive. Yeah. If anybody's no got any, probably. anybody's got any connections that can hook us yeah, up for some ideas. Um, I would love to go Michigan. north. Look, everyone's and fish saying them. Alaska. I would love to go to Alaska, but that's kind of out of our price range. Michigan. Out of our price range, and I don't think I want to go to Alaska in the wintertime. No, Michigan. it's way Michigan. too cold for me. Michigan. Michigan. In ice, in ice shanty. I would ice love fancy. to go ice fishing. Yeah. Um, I don't know how well that would go over with the kids. Seems like ice fishing when you're in that little hut. Probably isn't a big family event. North, I don't know. Someone said North Dakota, great perch fishing. Yeah, for yellow perch. Okay, Not like what we have here, here that we call perch, our bluegill or sunfish or all those. They actually have a true perch. They're a yellow perch, and they're a lot bigger than what we have. So, <laughs> Dutch said, go go fund me for Arms Family Fishing Trip. I'll donate. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, all right, Dutch. We'll definitely take your money, buddy. You make all kinds of money on YouTube and, uh, you know, anyways. No, we're not looking for donations to go on a fishing trip. <laughs> But um, we're looking for ideas. I just don't know yeah, a lot about wintertime fishing. Um, I don't know. I don't want to go somewhere super cold because my wife doesn't like the cold. No. Now, I've never actually got her to go to Colorado and do any fishing there. Um, I'd love to go there in the spring after the snow melts. Gosh, kid. And, um, Easy. and try that out. Dutch yeah. said, Dutch said uh, go to Pure Living for Outdoors House. Nice Bumblebee already did what? that. We went there. Yeah. Oh, look at there. Bumblebee Junction already started. Oh, uh, yay. He said, uh, low budget fishing <laughs> trip fund. <laughs> yeah. We'll take it, I guess. Thanks, buddy. I, I appreciate I would it, totally Mark. I totally go back to Florida at Christmas time, but everyone would make fun of us for, you know, going to Florida four times in one year. I but only got aside one. from that, aside from that, that um, it's just too far of a drive. You know, we won't have... A big amount of time. Right. It'll be kids, it'll be a so. short shorter trip. Yeah. And to go back to Pensacola, it takes um, like eighteen hours. A it's day and a half. A, about a day and a half when you take the kids to yeah. to drive it. Um, actually, when we went this time, when it was just the adults, the women went first and the men went second. The men drove. We made the drive in twelve hours. I, I don't understand why it takes eighteen with the kids. I mean, what is wrong with these kids? <laughs> Anyways. I'm feeling this one with candy. Okay. Iceland. Seven Sprouts said they went to Iceland. My my brother and his fiance just got back from Iceland in um, July, and all their videos and pictures were just amazing. I mean, it it looked like an amazing trip. So. Yeah, they really didn't like book any kind of adventure or anything. They literally just flew in and just went exploring for like yeah. ten days. Yeah. They rented a car and just drove around Iceland for ten days. And saw some really cool stuff. There was a comment I was going to go Dude. back and read. Um, oh, overload. Western Washington is not that cold in the winter. And we're experiencing a warm winter. You could fish from the mighty Columbia River. Washington's probably a little far. Flights are expensive when you're flying five people. We just don't really enjoy paying for five people's flights. Let's see. Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, there's lakes and rivers and trout fishing fun. We go there several times a year. Um, Brad said, come to North Carolina and go to Cure Beach and fish. It's beautiful. I'll have to look into that. So a lot of people suggest the beach in Carolina. We've never done that before, so yeah, you never know. If you're living for outdoors, what's up, dude? Um, he said, Daniel, are you going to cook that snake? Well, 
Actually, <coughs> we're not going to give any spoilers here. No spoilers, but the snake has been cooked. And oh. it, hopefully it will turn into an interesting video. We'll see. I haven't edited it yet, but the snake did get cooked. Um, let's see. Seven Sprouts Farmstead. We said we're from Tampa, Florida. Just brought a blueberry farm in Georgia. That's exactly what we did in Iceland. Drove for 10 days and whale watch too. If you have a chance, go take it. Um, that would be awesome. It would be fun. Um, so if you're from Tampa, I follow a couple guys in Florida and they said they're having a terrible, terrible year with red tide. Killing all kinds of fish, sea turtles, dolphins, sharks, everything. Um, it's terrible. I, I don't know what's going on down there. I know red tide's kind of a natural occurrence somewhat, but it sounds like this may be driven by some man-made problems maybe. I don't know. So hopefully they get that straightened out pretty quick. Um, Forrest Johnson said bear hunting on my farm in eastern Tennessee. Bear hunting. Let's go. Let's if you want to go bear hunting, let's go. Yeah. We can come out and actually make a trip out of it and film it for Final Descent Outdoors because I've got the hookup with an outdoor television show. So if you got a place to bear hunt, I am always down for that. Um, Duck said, Super Chat is active. Daniel will do the Kiki dance for $20. Ooh, I don't Kiki. think anybody wants to see Daniel do the Kiki dance. I'll do, do it. it. No, I'll do it. For I'll 30. do it for twenty. I'll <laughs> do it for thirty. Weston will do it for thirty. I'll He's do it for a really twenty. Good dancer. I'll do it for twenty. So is Emily. They're both really good. Me too. So what can we raise real quick? Anyways, back on the bear hunting subject. <laughs> I don't know who's made that comment, so be sure Forrest to remember Johnson. that. Forrest Johnson. Forrest Johnson. Yes. Hit me up in a private message, Facebook, Instagram, something. If you're serious about that, Forrest, we will definitely chat about that. I've never killed a bear. Never. I well, I did go bear hunting once. Bumblebee Junction sent $5 for the quickie version of the Kiki dance. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've gone bear hunting once for black bear. Uh, me and another guy sat in a deer stand, or I guess a bear stand technically, for three days in the rain and never saw a single bear. Didn't turn out real well. We were in Arkansas though. So, let's see. Emily, please don't turn on music. Heaven's Gates. Uh, tell don't, Houston, don't get on the TV. Tell no. Houston to look in the book I sent him. Shows where all the fishing spots are. In Michigan? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We need to go there. Um, yeah. Well, we probably won't go back to Michigan in the wintertime for sure because it gets really cold there. Well, I don't want to go there in summer. Can we go in? Hey, Gemma's over here eating something. <laughs> it's a rice cake. What? Oh, you got her. Gemma's eating rice cake. cakes. Look at her. She's like, oh, I got caught. I'm in trouble. Hey, you want to do, do the challenge? I got it set on YouTube. No, Emily, we're not turning we're not turning music on YouTube over there. Uh, William Hill said you can come here and hog hunt. I think they're meaner than bears. I, I really believe that. Sometimes we've got lots of pigs here. Um, I, just from what I've seen, they can they can be a lot meaner than bears for sure. The problem. So bears aren't too far from where we're at. We're we're like central Oklahoma. Look, there goes Bumblebee oh. Junction with another super chat. It says, uh, for the low budget, shout out to the moderators. Bumblebee Junction. There you go. My top all time world's best moderator. Mm -hmm. We had a uh, we had a guy get on the channel one night on a live stream, leaving all kinds of inappropriate comments, and it was like scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And it was like deleted, 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 deleted. So Bumblebee Junction is a good moderator. Anyways, totally forgot what, oh, bears. We're in like south central Oklahoma, right sure right on I-35 right runs north and south through Oklahoma. And the bears, the closest black bears are about two counties east of us, uh, maybe three counties east of us. So they're really not far. We've got bears within I would say 75 or 80 miles of us. Uh, they've never been here. We haven't seen any here. But it's probably just a matter of time before we get a black bear on our property, tearing up feeders and tearing up cameras and all that stuff. So. Until we get bears here. What would you do if we had a bear here, Houston? Squat down. They can't see you, buddy. I wanted to kill one. <laughs> oh, we kill him. You would kill him. So, anyways. <laughs> So, uh, let's see. Who was that? Someone said, uh, Snuggle Monster said, I have bears in my backyard. That's crazy. Do you feed them? 
I did see a video, um, a little Vine thing on YouTube the other day that the kids were watching, and this um, bear cub like crawled up in someone's pool and just like went and floated mm -hmm. around for a few minutes. It was very funny. So while I got you here, we might as well. I love showing this off. Look up here. You guys don't see the inside of our house very often. There's a couple of our deer. That's these, mine. These three deer were all killed on our property. That one's Weston's, like he said, he shot that. That was his second deer. That was his second deer right there. Um, this one over here, I shot with a muzzleloader during our black powder muzzleloader season. And that one was an, that was an archery deer. So, I'm a little dog fight back here. Well, a little hair because he bites me. All right. So I hit her very much. So, anything else? Any any questions we need to answer before we get off of here? Because we got to get this living room cleaned up. It's about bedtime for the kids. And Jim is having some midnight snacks. I got to go. And Jim is Fortnite. eating more rice cakes. You're not playing no Fortnite, Wes. I'm playing Fortnite. Yeah, we have at least one bear in our yard. Yes, That's right. That is he is, he's the size of a bear. That is one huge dog. But he is like a gentle giant. Gemma, quit getting the rice cakes. Are the, were the kids ready to go back to school? Yes. That's no. What the heck? I was. I'm not ready to go back to school. Houston, were you excited to go back to school? No. Really? Thank you. Yes, right you boy. were. No. <laughs> yes, you, you were. were. All right, so Emily was definitely ready to go back to school. I, I'm organizing my traffic yes. keeper right now. I will. Emily's organizing okay, her traffic keeper. Look, see, here's her little... Oh, broke pull it out of there. Her little pencil holder. She's already got it in there. So, anywho. Daddy's life said we need to tell him hi. Daddy's life and mommy's life. What's up? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Bruh. What's up, bruh? <laughs> bruh. 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 <laughs> um, Bumblebee said, were mom and dad excited for the kids to go back to school? Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh, I, I am. I'm torn. Yes. Really? Hey, they homeschool. Houston just jumped right in the middle of all those snacks. We should get homeschooled. Um, no. They homeschool. Yes and no. I mean, it, I am excited for them. It's really cool, but it's still a little bit squirrel. Depressing, because you're used to having them. <laughs> Go ahead. Someone said squirrel. I oh, know that's why I said it. I said squirrel. squirrel. I'm you're laugh. used to having Somebody them running here. around here. I the... just broke off the clippy thingy. Emily broke one of her pencil holders. Peace. I saw it. Peace. So, anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next video. It's I guess even, that means we're done. It's not even over. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. 237 people watching on a live stream. That's so awesome. There's no money anymore. There's no what? There's no more. Oh, Dutch asked what? You see, go make it harder to split him from views. Yes, yes. Dutch asked, which Bumblebee is saying, Dutch asked, does Houston going back to school make it harder to exploit him for views? Yes, <laughs> yes, it does. And that's. Well, I yes. do not like school. That, yes, you do. You guys are just going to have to get used to seeing me more in videos and less of him because. I With my schedule and his you. schedule. Anyway, whatever. Hey, uh, yeah, we'll get him said, in videos, I promise. Someone said the three year old son wants to fish with Houston. I'm not the three year old. Fix that. Fix that. Someone, wants, someone said their three year old son wants to go fishing with you. I'm not three. Their I'm son their wants to go son. fishing with you. Their son that is three. Oh my gosh. See, it's Jeez. bedtime. I think mm. it's time. For Got bed. it. All right. Anything else? Hold up. Hold up. Weston's reading comments. So, guys, thank you for watching. I'm cuter than that and... dog, by the way. You're cuter than what dog? Uh, I guess Gemma. TN said that is one cute dog. I'm cuter than that dog. <laughs> All right. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you next video. All right. Y'all have a great evening. Thanks for getting on here. We really do appreciate it. Something thanks for, for subscribing. Thanks for watching our videos. It's so thanks awesome. Thanks for the super chats. So guys, Emily said thanks for the super chats. Off. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you in the next video. I don't know what all